All right, what's up, guys? So we're here with Tyler. This is his ST Focus, and uh, we're gonna take it for a little test drive. So I'm kind of curious, like how well it does in overall aspects, because if it's as good as when I kind of got on it a little earlier, I might want one of these for a daily driver. <laughs> Just say. Sounds good though. Did yeah. Brad figure out how to get out of here? I think so. <laughs> I'm out of here. It's got a resonator delete and a custom cat back. Ooh, it gurgles very well. Yeah. So that way. Yeah, left. Okay. And then just follow the circle. It's lowered just a little so potholes hurt. So now I'm kind of curious if it'll. I think it only does it when you're going fast. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'm used to rev matching my car anyway, so. It's weird how it makes that clicking noise like that. Yeah, I've got an aftermarket reverse lockout and it, it clicks for some reason. It's got instant torque though. Yeah. It's impressive how quick it spools. I kind of like the clicking sound, but it sounds like you're breaking it. Yeah, it, it kind of does. It, it sounds like you're breaking it, and like I said, it's aftermarket, but it also kind of confirms that you're in gear, you know? That too, like that's the one reason I do like it. I think if you make a left here, it'll take you out by like I think I know where I'm at sheets. now. Yeah. I hey, so. FedEx. Hi. <laughs> <All right. sighs> yeah, you good. <laughs> Pretty much. I love Cumberland's bumps. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the video I did on uh, Brogan's GT350, we just filmed it at the airport. So, that was fun. Hell of a car. And tunnel. This sheets or the Frostburg one? Frostburg. Alright. Oh, hills. I hate this fucking hill. Yeah. Thank you for not riding my ass. You realize this is a stick. Smart person. Yep. Unlike most people. There's a line back there, but that's a word. Oh, hill assist. That's interesting. Yep. Okay, I did not know that. Here. I let off the brake and it's just stayed, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, because actually, I think the line is back there. Yeah. Oh well. I don't go this way that often, so. There, there's a way to turn off the hill assist, but I just I don't see the point. It makes it a little easier. I don't mind it because it makes me more at ease yeah. when there's because a lot of people like to ride your ass and they're yeah. like, you don't have to worry about rolling back. It'll hold you for I think it's five seconds. It'll hold you. Yeah, that was a good five seconds. There. Yeah. Then it'll let go. Pretty easy to drive when you're not flooring it. When you floor it, it's kind of more on the lines of torque steer. Yeah. That's, like a lot of fucking torque steer. Like, that's Jesus the main Christ. thing you notice. What's with all the. Are we in Pennsylvania? Kind of feels like it. All the construction. Yeah. Usually there's not that much. Well, they finished the bridge, now they got other jobs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like we're on a fucking racetrack, one lane. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Merge onto the Nurburgring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. Jesus fucking traffic. God damn. I didn't know Cumberland was going to be this bad today. What the fuck are you doing, you dumbass van? I wish I had a fucking camera facing that way. <laughs> Just cut off this fucking Tiburon in front of us. Jesus Christ, how many people can't drive? I think it's a V6 Tiburon, too. They're not too bad. Turn green any second now because yep should be the GM 
Let's see it stopped. Turn to the light that goes first. What the hell? Nobody ever said Cumberland traffic lights made sense. Nobody ever said Cumberland made sense. My car usually doesn't do that, it just flicks it the fuck off. Yeah, this one won't. Like, it'll cancel, but only if you straighten the wheel all the way back out. Gotcha. Still pulls pretty good in fourth. Yeah, uphill too. Yeah. Plus, it is at three grand. It's got a, a deeper tone to it than it did stock. That's a.
So I'll be honest, my impressions of the ST, I kind of want one. I really kind of want one for a daily driver. Fun car. Yeah. But we'll have a cinematic video on this once he gets some more stuff done to it to make it stand out a little. Yep. I figured since he's going to let me drive it, we'll just do a kind of a review video. Not really because I'm not reviewing much other than me driving it. It's a fun fucking car to drive though. Review it for blah, review it for real once it's tuned. Mm. That'd be a good one. It's quick now. And again, I'm used to my fucking what 150, 170 horsepower fucking Suzuki. Yeah. I'm driving that all the time. I really haven't got to drive anything else. So this thing at first when I first drove it, it was like, hello. Felt like a rocket ship. Yeah. <laughs> and then I rode with Brogan and I'm like, fuck. That thing's insane. Alright. I told myself I probably wasn't going to get another Ford after the Ranger, but I feel like this one would be a good investment as a yeah. daily driver. But, alright, if you guys haven't, check out the videos on the GT350, and we'll catch you later.